Hey there, Chris Wells here, and in honour of the Oscars this week, our educational theme this month is Learn From The Best. And who better to learn from than longtime Martin Scorsese collaborator and one of the greatest editors of all time, Thelma Schoonmaker, who, in case you didn't know, edits on Lightworks. Now, seeing as you're editing on the very same software that Thelma and her team use, for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do two common editing techniques that Scorsese and Schoonmaker love to put to use in their films, and that's speeding up and the freeze frame both conveniently shown in one of the greatest openings of any film of all time. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. So good, isn't it? So let's boot up Lightworks and get started. And here we are. This is me doing my best Ray Liotta impression, as well as doing the same kind of camera move as in that famous amazing opening. So what we've got here, we've just got my voiceover doing a very bad Ray Liotta impression. We've got our living room tone, which then fades out just as the music comes in. The music is not that bam, 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 because I don't have the rights to Tony Bennett and oh boy, do I wish so. But this is the best equivalent I have. So let's just see what we've got so far. As far back as I can remember, I always loved Scorsese. I know the camera goes really close, but that's fine. But yeah, that's what we've got. So all we need to do really, we've got all the sounds that we need. It's literally just the speed ramp and the freeze frame. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So the first thing we need to do is, on the, on the original clip, what happens is it he it's just as he puts the boot down. So that's when it goes boom ba 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 bam 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 bam. So what we need to do is we need to find the exact moment that we want to speed up, which is like there. And what we then do is we need to split the clip. So because I just want to split this video clip here and not any of these other sound clips, I'm just gonna disable these tracks. And then I can press either the C key or this button here. And there you go. Now you see we've got two clips here instead of one. So let me just reactivate these again. And now what we can do is we can just making sure that our playhead is over the clip we want. We can just right click on the clip and you'll see under the options under segment, we've got speed. And this is how we change the speed. So what we want to do is we don't want it to be 100% normal speed. We want to go, let's go 300%. And it says method here, keep current frame. We don't want that, we want resize. Resize will basically resize the clip as it goes, because obviously it's 300 times faster. So it will be a little bit smaller as you'll see now. Let's just press apply and boom, there we go. Instantly, this clip is now 300 times faster. Let's press that. Boom. Whoa. And there we go. Simple as. So that's how you do the speed ramp. But now we need to do the freeze frame. So let's find the exact moment. Let me try and work out the timing here of when we want to freeze frame it. There. That's where we want to freeze frame it. So all we need to do is, in fact, the same kind of thing again. So let's just deactivate these tracks. And I'm going to press the C key this time. So there we go. We've now got an extra little clip here. I'm just going to making sure my mouse is over the clip, right click, go to speed, and instead of going 300 times, which is what it currently is, I'm going to put it to zero, which basically is slowing it down all the way, so it's just essentially a still frame. Method, keep current frame, that's what, oh wait, do we want to keep current frame? No, we want to keep start frame, that's the frame we want, so we want it to go 0% on the very first frame of this clip, because if I had it on current frame it would have just frozen on this one and it wouldn't look quite right so let's just press apply so now in theory it will be ba 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 bam bam ba bam ba ba bam so as you can see this clip now is quite short still because it was the very end of the footage but because it's a still frame now we can extend this for as long as we want i don't want it that long um let's just let's just yeah do it that long why not so there we go so we got Okay, so that should be everything that we need to do. So let's reactivate the tracks. And in fact, I think the song comes in a little bit early. So I'm just going to drag that along a little bit. There we go to retime that. Yeah, look at that. I think that's about right. I've also got a bonus way 
to add in freeze frames. And all you have to do is go back up here, so you're back onto the project screen, go up to your system settings, and there is a button here called key assignments. And that allows you to put in shortcut keys. And obviously, do have a look here at all the kind of shortcuts you can do, but you can use the handy search bar at the bottom here. Let's type in freeze. Let's just type in freeze. Let's see what comes up. There we go. We've got freeze frame. And that is essentially a shortcut for bringing in a freeze frame. But at the moment, it's not assigned to anything. So all we need to do is double click on that and it will go choose a key. And I'm going to choose a key that doesn't currently have anything assigned to it. So I'm going to use the hashtag key. There we go. It says, there you go. It will tell you if I go to use Q or something else, look, it will tell you which shortcut you're replacing. So I'm just going to use the hashtag button because I know that's unassigned right here. Press add key. And there we go. Just close that. Let's open up the Scorsese bit again. And now we need to add in the freeze frame. And all we've got to do now is find the bit that we want. Let's freeze frame there. And then I'm just going to press the shortcut key, which was the hashtag that I programmed in. And there we go. And if we zoom in, we'll see it's actually created a new clip. And that's frozen the frame at that exact moment. And with that, let's just give the overall clip a play and see how it looks. As far back as I can remember, I always loved Scorsese.